So this week is a special episode for two reasons. First of all, because since the last time you saw the boat and since the last time we saw our boat, the boat is so different. We got so much done on the boat we are building in yeah. France. And second, because this is the last episode that's gonna be just the two of us. Yeah. Check the size of this boy. This boy is about to come to the world. <laughs> I can't wait. So let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> Hi, I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And after bringing a sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, we moved aboard and for the next two years we explored the Brazilian coast and part of the Caribbean, where we got an offer that changed our lives once again. We sold our boat and we moved to France, where we are building our new 43 foot aluminum exploration sailboat. And while the boatyard is building the hull of our new sailboat, we are learning the craft by converting a camper van to get ready to build the interior and all the systems of the boat ourselves. So, don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for our new episode. Are you ready for a surprise today? Yeah, today is going to be a big review for you and for me at the same time. It's been three weeks that we went away for vacations and during this period I have no pictures of the boat, I have no idea what they did to the boat and the reason for that is because I want it to be a surprise, I want to have the experience of coming and getting in the shop and seeing the boat different than the last time I saw it and we're going to do that together. I didn't expect we have a train. I think we got a lot of progress. That's so awesome. That's the swim platform. Can you see here the swim platform? I think the boat's really different. Uh, we need to go on vacations more often, I guess. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh man. Let's go inside now. Let's see from the top. We have all the frames already. We have the stringer in. Looking awesome. I'm impressed. I, I had no idea it was going to be like that. And I'm really, really happy with it. I just love when you have a good surprise. Literally, I had no idea what to expect when I came here today because, you know, it's beginning of August in France and in uh, the majority of the countries in Europe. Beginning of August, no one really work. Like the companies, they pretty much stop all over the place. And the first three weeks of August, that's the reason why we went on a trip because we were like, nothing's gonna happen. We're just gonna be frustrated. We're gonna want to have like, you know, progress to film and there was, there will no be, the there won't be any progress to film so I'm like yeah if they put the side in place I'm already happy if we have like the last side of the boat in place that's something already and we have so much more than that there is the side in place there is the majority of the frames in place and there is the transom in place that's so good so now the next step I believe is to finish the frames and after that they're either gonna go to the cockpit and do the cockpit or they're gonna go to the deck I'm not sure yet I'm gonna tell you as soon as I know but for now I'm just gonna film them working a little bit more and then in the end of the day I'm gonna try to go inside the boat and give you a closer look of the frames one more day in paradise let's go inside the boat now and see everything that happened today so today they've been working on the reinforcement of the frames I'll show you they did this entire frame and they started the second one so these reinforcement so the frame is a flat bar and then they weld a second flat bar on the top and that becomes like a T and that's of course much more is strong, much more, much stronger.
So today they routed this reinforcement all the way around and they started this one and this one is ready for tomorrow and they're making a lot of progress that's really good I see you tomorrow with more frames in place and then I don't know maybe the deck maybe the cockpit who knows So what's happening now is that they're trying to align the top of the frame because the top of the frame has a curvature and that's the curvature of the deck. So every frame needs to have the right alignment otherwise the deck won't have the right angle and it's important for the deck to have the right angle because the water needs to drip to the sides, drain to the sides. So that's you know a little bit of patience, they need to a little, put a little bit up one of the frames, a little bit down the other one and try to align them and reinforce the bottom of the frame with the T-section that I mentioned before and in this way everything's aligned. Just so you understand, I don't properly speak French. I'm learning how to speak French, so I know a little bit and I know enough to figure out what's going on, but I don't communicate that well back. So it's, I, I, it's just a game of guessing and trying to learn more and more and more and more is getting easier to understand French, but it's not enough yet to talk and to communicate fluently. So. You know, it's a game of patience. Uh, I've been coming more and more to the boatyard and that's been really good to my French because I'm exposed to people that don't speak any English. The welders, they literally don't speak any English and I don't even attempt to speak English to them. I just try to communicate in French, so it is what it is. It's good, it's a good new, new learning, it's always good. So the next step now is to install the less watertight bulkhead, the one that goes on the bow of the boat. But before they can do that, they need to add the reinforcements that go on the bow because otherwise it's going to be too tricky to install in the future because it's going to be a much tighter spot and much darker, it's a lot more work and also because it's much harder to manipulate the shape of the bow once we install the watertight bulkhead, so it's much harder to open and close the bow if necessary. So these reinforcements is what makes the bow even stronger because it's transversal. So pretty much you have the plates of the bow and behind the plates of the bow, going right on the center line of the bow, you have a longitudinal reinforcement. And this longitudinal reinforcement goes from the top of the bow to the bottom of the bow to the watertight bulkhead. And the other ones that we need to install now, they are 90 degrees to these longitudinal ones. So that means it creates an X and that creates a really strong bow and it's really important to have a really strong bow first of all because that's where you attach the forward stay and there's a lot of tension involved but also if you hit something, if you hit a shipping container that's the first part of the boat that's gonna crash into something so it needs to be extra reinforced so that means we have 8 millimeters thick plates plus 10 millimeters thick longitudinal reinforcement plus 8 millimeters cross reinforcements it's plenty strong
and the last bulkhead is in place. With this watertight bulkhead, we have every single bulkhead of the board and every single frame of the board. And now we have three watertight bulkheads. This one was that one and the one behind. And we have another six frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just a quick explanation. All this is just stuck in place. This is not fully welded yet. So the watertight bulkhead, if you check, there is just small parts of weld and of course this is going to be fully welded in the future for now you have a weld here here there so this is just to hold in place when we have the deck in place and all the structure around then they can come in fully welded because this is a watertight bulkhead so there is no gap for the water to come in the next step I thought would be actually to create the compression post there is a compression post for the mess right here but they said that they're going to put the deck in first and then they're going to put the compression post so they're getting the panels ready to install the deck i'm not sure if tomorrow or the day after but the deck is going to be here really soon that's pretty cool i can't help but just keep imagining what's going to be inside the boat in the future I, I, it's just crazy yeah moving along i'm really really happy with the progress finally we're getting a lot of progress and that's really exciting but now Time to rest, see you tomorrow.